So this is one. I think it's like a hotel. I'll call it a hotel. And then here we have, not sure what it is, like a restaurant, cafe, maybe? It's Thursday morning. I'm heading early to the gym today and then heading to the clinic right after that for some morning patients, then getting some lunch and then back to the clinic this afternoon and evening for more patients today. Stepped on the scale today and no change. 162.5 still, but that's okay. Gonna get a good workout today, eat well today, and we'll see what, ha what that number is tomorrow. Good workout today, another 13 kilometer run in, in one hour. Felt good again. My left calf was a little tight at the beginning, but then it loosened up. Then I did some legs and back and then core, and now I'm heading to the clinic for a, a bunch of patients this morning. It's Thursday, the last work day before the Easter weekend. So the boys don't have any school tomorrow, which is the group Friday, up until Easter Monday. However, both Nick and myself are only off tomorrow. I'm here getting breakfast all sorted. I really am trying my best to incorporate as much fruits and vegetables as we can to eating, and I usually make a, an egg white vegetable omelet. It's how I trick Nick into putting some veggies in his body. So here I have some red onions, delicious. And I'll be putting that in the pan shortly, cooked in butter. Tristan and Mason have already left for school. I am another late shift person today at work, but instead of going to the gym this morning, I think I'm going to take it easy a little bit for the next little bit and uh, tidy up the house and hang out with this guy. Because I find like when I came home at 8 o'clock, it's really too late to hang out. I'm on my way to my mom's to drop off Hayden and then I'm going to go grab my free Starbucks coffee. Last night, Nick thought that we were going to miss one day of Philly breakfast. And this is after he had said, oh, we have to go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I already booked my Thursday, Friday off. And just coincidentally, my Friday is my regular 10 hour day off. So I'm really only taking one day vacation, which is sweet. But he was so happy yesterday when he found out that we were actually gonna leave on Thursdays. So we won't miss too many uh, activities during the Philly breakfast festival. I should have kept on playing along go, oh, you're right. Yeah, we're going to miss all of those Thursday activities. Darn it. We get back from Philly Breakfast that Sunday, which is 23, 25, 26, I think, of April. And then the following day is also my 10 hour day off, which is perfect. So it gives me a day to recuperate. But I then remember that I have to renew my passport, mine and Mason's passport. So actually, yesterday, uh, it took me a full hour just to print out all the forms that I need. And then just the night before, I realized that I am missing. Mason's long form birth certificate, which is required whenever you renew a passport, which makes me angry because if he already has a passport and this is going to be his third passport since he was born, we really shouldn't show any other pieces of ID if you already have a passport. Like how did I get a passport in the first place if I didn't show you my long form birth certificate? In any case, because I'm paranoid and I don't want to delay the renewal process because right after Philly breakfast, a few weeks later, we're on our way to New Jersey. Um, and I have to get this passport renewed. So, yeah, um, I went ahead and ordered a long form birth certificate, which cost me $45, which is $10 more when I first bought it. If it was a first time or yeah, first time birth certificate after. The and then we would have saved up on a night of a hotel and a night of driving. But no, you know what? I'm actually very excited to go. So it's already in my head that we're leaving on Thursday. Well, and that's it. here, file away all the birth certificates properly. Honestly, I'm pretty good with filing stuff. I don't know how I lost this. I don't know. Yeah, just frustrating. And now our uh, passport renewal, 
uh, is for a 10-year passport, meaning this is going to be how I look like for the next 10 years of my passport. So maybe I should go for that. It's $160 to renew. There is also a five-year option, but that's $120. So for another $40 and another five years worth of looking as young as I am right now, why hand, not? Their right? only renewal option is five years, which makes sense because they change so much. I mean, like right now, we have a passport for Hayden when he was, I don't know, two months old and... He looks nothing like that chunky, ducky-faced baby. Well, he's still chunky. I think I was able to convince my mom to take this little guy out for a walk around the block because she already has my stroller in her garage and really a little bit of fresh air and some vitamin D will do the body a whole lot of wonder and the brain too. I love walking outside. But it is cold and my mom being typical Asian, I don't know if that's typical Asian, she hates the sun, hates the sun because you have to preserve the complexion and I get it so she's gonna just bathe herself in some SPF before they leave but yeah it's it's yeah yes you want to go out and play mm. and walk and go to the playground mm. and just look at the sun and look at the houses around the neighborhood yeah so here's Hayden all ready for his walk with his wawa I mm. was able to convince my mom to get out and enjoy the sunshine, sunshine is always a good thing for everybody get some vitamin D in those cheeks hey, mom, all ready for their walk okay go walk I'm gonna go to work now bye, love bye. you bye. Cute. <laughs> don't you feel better already yeah. <laughs> later you can take them all to the gym there's Tristan you can see him but where's his brother oh he's hiding There he is. Look at these goofs. Hiding. <laughs> and there's Mason. I see you guys. Can we grab my iPad? Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. Because I don't what have... That? What do you have there? A lightsaber. Show me. Um, it's a... It's a Easter basket on the tall building, then, then the Easter bunny. Ah! That's an Easter bunny? It looks like a I mean, it's a chocolate bunny. Roll. A chocolate bunny. Oh. Where's your toilet paper roll? Oh, this is my lightsaber. It looks like highlighters. It's a lightsaber. <laughs> a lightsaber. You got your iPad? Yeah. What do you have? Oh, you have an egg. Are you going to eat that? No. Why? It, it does, it does have... It's fake? Yeah, see? It's a toy? What was that? Say that again? What's Superman's opposite name again? Bizarro. Oh. Mason. Mason. Come on, let's go. Mason. Tristan. Tristan. Come on, guys. Who's gonna ring the doorbell? Because you can't reach it, right? Well, I could. You're tall enough now? Yeah. Wow, let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm on my way to redeem my free Starbucks coffee, and it's uh, kind of bad. I guess this is how they keep us coming, right? Loyalty cards. Which is why I wonder why more stores don't have loyalty cards. Uh, Second Cup, which is one of the bigger franchises here, too, in, in Canada. They used to have a loyalty card and now they've gotten rid of that and I used to be a big fan of theirs too but now that Starbucks has a loyalty card so I have to buy 12 cups of coffee to get my free cup so I'm kind of bad because then I end up like just buying a tall or a small cup and then when I redeem I go all out I get like the $8 latte with you know 100 shots of espresso so today is going to be busy at work prepare to be Taken. I'm waiting for my coffee. I am just looking through all of these little skin journals that I love. I absolutely collect all of them all the time, and I don't know why because they are like I probably use one or two in a year, not even for doodle. But oh my god, I'm so excited because this is out and I must have it. But it's ruled. I don't get it. Oh my god, I love it. It's a Batman moment. You know, one thing with me is I actually don't write on any ruled paper. I actually like blank paper because I doodle and I sketch and all of that stuff. But yeah. I seem to also be able to write straight enough without lines. Lines, they just distract me. But I need to find out if 
the Spatman thingy has a version that is my like freebie redemption I opted for the new caramel flan latte which I can smell the sugar from where I am it's very sugary already um, so yeah this, this should fuel me for the next couple of hours and then I will go back into a sugar crash not a good thing but you know so all delicious. done work I'm here at Wawa's house now to pick up the boys it's raining pretty hard outside we're gonna get home have some dinner and maybe Lego we'll see Hi. Hi. Is it raining? Yeah, it's raining hard. No. <laughs> Hi. We are laughing. He likes Mason. Where's Mason? Mason is hiding there, Mero. Mason. He will Hi. sleep now. Hi. You're all ready to go home? Uh, You're all what? Uh, buckled up? Uh, What's wrong? What are you doing? Are you playing with the garbage again? You know it's time for bedtime, right? Yeah? Okay, let's go Bedtime, beddy bye, bed, bedtime. You want to go to bed? Look at my shadow. You're sleepy? All right, bedtime. Pikachu said, ah! And Pikachu said, ah! Oh. Okay, bedtime. Bye. Good night. You do not punish him. Good night. I got out of work and went straight to Costco so I can do some last minute groceries before all the stores are closed tomorrow which is good friday and here i am at lcbo picking up a couple of red and i got carded i get so excited when they card me ha. this is what mason just finished putting together the first part of the bad cops pursuit and he put emmett on the top there he made these two little crocodiles and this platform Good job, Mason. Here's a mock that Tristan was making. Kind of looks like a Quinjet or a bird or something. I know it's not done yet. It's a work in progress, but it looks good so far. And I made two mini modular buildings. So this is one. I think it's like a hotel. I'll call it a hotel. So we have the entrance here. We have a couple windows with a balcony. And so that's, it's a corner building. And then here we have, not sure what it is, like a restaurant, cafe, maybe. So we have uh, a little drapery here with a door, another entrance way there. We have these little lamps with blue lighting. Second floor, we have some windows, a couple flags. And again, it's a corner building. So I'm going to add another, I have more plates here to add more mini modulars, something like that. And I don't think I can put something against here just because of that. So we might have a road or something here or a sidewalk. I'll think of something. If you enjoyed our family vlog and you want to see more, Click that like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment in the comment section. We love to hear your thoughts. And if you want to see yesterday's vlog of our flying babies, the link is in the description below. See you guys next time.